Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk to you about something a little bit different. I don't usually do videos like this, but today I wanted to run you through my 2018 bullet journal and also do a little bit of a talk through of the things that I bought to do my bullet journal with. So I'm gonna start off with a little bit of backstory about how I got into this because it's a very recent thing for me, I'd say in the last couple of months or so. But what really tipped me over the edge into the world of bullet journaling was actually uh, Lily Pebbles videos. I think she does the most straightforward videos on bullet journals and it didn't seem too daunting to me or like bullet journaling when you look at a lot of the videos is so artistic and it's really beautiful and it's just so amazing and I just looked at them and I always thought I'd never have the time to do that and it would take me so long to do all of these really really beautifully artistic things that lots of people can do very very quickly not bashing pretty bullet journals at all I think they are the most glorious thing to look at um, but it does take some people way less time than it takes others and I was very very aware of that and Lily just made it seem really easy and approachable and it kind of got me hooked. I then started watching Jamie Page's videos and then got really into Amanda Rachel Lee and that fully like I was just I was up at midnight and I was doing a whole Amazon order of different like coloring pencils and things like that coloring pencils felt tips and um, that kind of thing I was just really really into it and my bullet journal has kind of come out as a a nice in the middle I want to say like I do do the occasional doodle in it but it's not really like doodle heavy and for me it's mostly actually helping me to keep really really organized this is my bullet journal and my notebooks were always always had similar lists so things like job trackers and goals and things like that but they'd always get lost or I'd always flip from one to the other and I like the idea of having everything in one place and having a dedicated page that I would flick backwards and forwards or pages that I would flick backwards and forwards between if that makes sense rather than I'd constantly be writing the same list but over and over and kind of forgetting that I'd already made that list so it's nice to have it set out and really really organized so that is the backstory of how I got into this and if you are interested in bullet journaling, bullet, bullet journaling um, then I'd highly recommend watching all of their videos because I think it's good to not just watch one person who bullet journals because the way that they do it might not be for you and I think that's really important to remember is that you can do this however you bloody want. There is a system, I will link to like the actual bullet journals videos. Down in the info box is going to be a ton of links. Yeah there's a whole kind of intricate system and it can be quite complex and it that just kind of just wasn't for me so I've adapted little bits of those like um, you kind of colour in a circle to mark it as complete and you cross it out if it's like cancelled and things like that but I don't do the like has been moved on little icon if that makes sense if you know bullet journals you will know what I'm talking about if you don't then you probably think I've gone mad because it just doesn't really make sense unless you watch the videos so um yeah that is the kind of backstory of how I got into this um I'm going to talk you through all of the things that I have purchased for my 2018 bullet journal and how I kind of came to the point that I'm at now and I'll link everything I've bought in the info box below in case you want to go and buy anything but to start off with this is my bullet journal this I actually bought um, as a practice bullet, bullet, I can't say bullet journal, this is going to be such a problem. I've still got a bit of like a cold going on so my voice isn't back to normal yet. But this is a bullet journal I found on Amazon. It is the cutest blush pink. It doesn't come with this on the front by the way, it's completely plain. It does say bullet journal on the side which I may cover at some point with like label maker or something. But I just stuck a little um, like paper chase holographic rainbow sticker on the front and I think it looks really cute. It's just very very simple and yeah, I started this as my practice bullet journal because I got into this in, I think, about December I started bullet journaling. So I started this in December, which is a really awkward time to start a bullet journal, but I thought I'd get started in December and have a practice and see what suited me and what didn't before I went on to 2018 and to January because I could just kind of foresee myself putting too much pressure on myself to have January be perfect and then using or not using a lot of pages um, that I'd set out and just I just wanted to see what worked, what I needed, what I didn't need. I started very simply, simply, and I think that's the best way to start a bullet journal in my opinion and I think this year's bullet journal, I'll do update videos on this, I think um, I've seen other people when they do their yearly flip backs so you can really see their first year is a development and I think this year will definitely be that and me working out what works for me but um, I just started off with 
the little thing that says hello December and then I think as we can probably guess um lots of the opening title pages are gonna have hello and then the month because but yeah then I went in with a to-do list for December the jobs tracker um blog ideas blog ideas definitely needs a single page versus a double page I don't have that many blog post ideas um but I ended up doing a little practice doodle on that page for my new year spread and then have video ideas which I knew this is why I really liked the bullet journal idea was because I can dedicate a double page spread to one thing if I need to whereas if I buy a standalone planner that already has like say it had a video planner page in it it will probably be a single page per month and I'm constantly writing down like it could be a stupid video idea but I just write everything down and I like to have it there because it might spark something else even if I don't use that idea or it might come to fruition in like two years time but I just like having a double page for video ideas and I make notes on products and things like that as well so it's a good space to have and then have a new in page so I can keep track of the things that I've been buying and I know when it's time to do a haul um, I have my 2018 favourites listed on the next page and I split it into best in beauty and best and worst purchases which hopefully will be coming at some point this month. I need to get my act into gear but I wanted to do this video first because I wanted to set up my bullet journal. Then I have just daily, daily to-do lists and then I have my January bullet journal planning page. So that was how I planned out um, what you're going to see later on in the video. So when it comes to my January bullet journal, I had initially planned to not use this bullet journal because um, I actually bought one of the, well, I bought a couple of the uh, Lex Lectrum ones, uh, which are the proper like bullet journal, like bullet journal itself has done a collaboration with um, the brand for this one, um, but they do, other ones as well like coloured ones and they're all dotted line pages but the reason I really liked these ones and thought I was going to use these is because they fall open flat let me see if I can show you I don't know if you can see they fall open way easier than this one does I just thought it would make writing in so much easier but as time goes on and I'm using this one it is falling open a little bit easier but I did just get to the point where I was quite attached to this having used it for um not a whole month but like for the month of December and then I really liked the colour of it, I liked the fact that I put the sticker on the front so I decided that instead of wasting a paper, even though I would still use this to do practice doodles in or practice page layouts and things like that, which was the original plan, I was like oh I'll just use this to kind of bounce ideas in, um, I just wanted to use this, I was quite attached to it and it doesn't have that many pages, I think I will fill this way quicker than I would fill one of these, it just looks a lot uh, thinner so I decided I would use this and even if a whole year isn't in this bullet journal I don't really mind because I'd rather not waste the paper my one of my resolutions this year is to stop wasting notebooks because I buy notebooks all the time I love them so much they're one of my like things that I love buying so much aside from the way it falls open it doesn't really seem that different so I quite like it but I'm also excited to use these ones as well with the pink ones so these are both the lecture ones um, with the pink one I've already stuck a little rainbow sticker on the front because I like that and then um, this one will have when I eventually do use it um, these gold sparkly letters on the front and uh, that will be the plan for that one so I won't basically won't need to buy a new bullet journal for a few years um, and that's okay I'm okay with that. So those are the notebooks I brought. I will link to all of them um, in the info box. And if you have any questions on any of them, just ask away. Um, the one thing I will say is that these notebooks, the official kind of more bullet journally, traditionally bullet journally ones, come with um, these little page markers, whereas this one doesn't. It's definitely more basic. Um, and I don't like the fact that I know this is gonna get bashed up so quickly, but I love the colour. I was just very, very drawn to this and I'm very attached to it now. So that is the situation. I knew I was going to get a lot of questions over why I use this one and not a traditional bullet journal um, notebook, but I just thought that I would talk you through my decision process, which probably doesn't make sense to a lot of you because I, re I reckon these um, ones are way better. I think the hardback is way better, but um, I just didn't really want to waste the notebook. So those are the notebooks that I brought. And then in terms of what I've been using um, on the inside, I'm going to talk you through my favourite first. So this pen is the Tombow AB ABT Acid Free 
um, double ended pen in 772 and it is a blush pink double ended pen. One end is like super small and the other end is like um, a very big soft felt tip and it's quite good for like calligraphy and stuff like that but I love using it for um, underlining things. It works really really nicely. This has been my favourite pen to use so, throughout, so far throughout the whole process. Then I also bought the Faber Castell Far Faber? I don't know. Um, the Faber Castell Six Pit Artist Pens in black and these have lots of different thicknesses. They have like extra small, small, fine, medium, um, bold and then a like calligraphy pen so you can see, I don't know if you can, can I focus this? Yeah, that's, that's what it looks like. And I would say I definitely use the small, fine and medium the most out of this pack and really really like them they're very very easy to use and then I've also been using the Stabilo Stabilo how do I say that I don't I don't know how to pronounce any of these you can tell I don't make stationary videos very often um but these are the pastel colored highlighters I love them so much I feel like I've had a pack of these before like a really really long time ago like years and years um but I love these I tend to use uh, these colours here, these three, way more than the cool toned colours because I like pink and orange, they're like my faves. So really happy with those, use them a ton and I think these are the cheaper um, of a lot of the options. So these are a nice option to go for if you don't want to spend a ton of money on bullet journaling. I kind of went out there so that I could try a lot of things out and give you guys my recommendations on the things that I use and the things that I didn't use. So I also have this little tin full of stuff. This is the stuff that I don't use as often. Um, this is just a little Zoella beauty tin. It says bits and bobs. I love it. I think it's so cute and I, you guys know I love little like brush dot polka dots. Um, so this is just perfect and it sits out really nicely in my office. So have a bag of uh, Stabilo rubbers, which um, they do come in handy because I sometimes draft out pages in pencil first and it's they're, these are really good rubbers and they don't smudge or anything like that. So they're good for rubbing things out. Then I have a ton of um, label maker tapes. I was initially planning to use my label maker a lot in my bullet journal. I haven't really started doing that so much yet, um, but I have these in there just in case. These are the Pro Marker pens by Windsor and Newton and um, I did actually have a bit of a disaster at one point when I was setting up my 2018 bullet journal and I used these and they bled through the page. So um, only use these if you're working on card and planning on sticking it in to your bullet journal. Don't use these on the actual pages because they bleed through like a bitch. I was very sad. Then I have a little gel pen. It's gold. It's the Hybrid Gel Grip uh, K118. And I haven't used this yet, but I think when it comes to like later in the year, I will use it a lot. And then I also have the Pentel Paint Marker Super Gold Extra Fine Point. Um, and I haven't used that yet either, but I'm very excited to use it. And then finally, I have these. I'm so excited about these. Uh, these are the Zig Clean Color Real Brush um, set of 48 colors. They are amazing. The Obviously the pinky orangey colours in this are just a dream. These are quite good if you can master calligraphy. These are quite good for doing uh, that kind of writing with and they are just so beautiful to work with. I've used these in the setup um, so you'll see those in a minute but um, yeah they just look like this. I really, really like these. I They are expensive, but I would recommend them. They also, it was really cute. They came with a little um, paper crane. It's just like, oh my God, that's so cute. So those were my final purchase. They actually turned up midway through filming the setup video for this and I was over the moon. So that is everything I bought for my bullet journal and everything that I've been using so far or not using so much. So now I'm gonna show you the setup of my 2018 bullet journal. Um, so the 2018 section, which is kind of minimal. I'm not doing too many like yearly lists, uh, but then also the setup for January as well. And if you like these videos, then um, I can always do like a setup 
um, element to, I don't, I don't know, maybe I could do setting up my February one at the start of my February favourites, I don't know, um, or just in a vlog, let me know how you would like to see those. I think maybe in a vlog could work quite nicely because I can just sit down and show you how I'm setting it up just as I normally would, I think that would be quite nice. Let me know what you think. So to start off, I left a double page spread for um, a kind of 2018 opening page. It's actually quite simple, it's really easy to draw, it's just 2018 in like balloon format, a few little fireworks and then I drew some stars. The stars are really badly done when you look at them up close but the thing I found with bullet journaling is once everything's all there it doesn't look that bad, um, it just kind of worked out. So even though it looks like it's done really badly, the whole layout itself looks really great. So I've done some larger stars and then I also added in some smaller stars as well. And I did all of that with my Faber-Castell um, pen in, I think it was the small um, pen. And although I love the look of just like a black and white doodle, I did decide to add some color in. And I used my Zig Clean Color Felt Tip and used a very like warm golden yellow for the stars and literally left it at that. And I love how it looks so much. Then for the next page, we have a double page spread of my 2018 overview. I decided to do this just so I can jot down the things that I normally forget. So I haven't left myself tons of space, but I've just given myself space for the real essentials, like the things that I always forget that always creep up on me. And I've left more spaces for the months that I'm busier in. So you may be able to tell that um, the kind of spring and summer months, I'm generally not so busy during those months. So I've just left those a little bit smaller and the start of the year and the end of the year have the most space for me to jot reminders down in. And with this page, I obviously kept with the theme of the 2018 balloons. I really like that. And um, then I also did my monthly headers in almost a calligraphy format. So I basically just write out the month in a kind of swirly, cutesy-esque type of format. And on all of the strokes where your brush would go down, I made those bolder, if that makes sense. Um, Amanda Richley has a much better tutorial on how to do calligraphy and the methods behind this. So I would highly recommend giving her videos a watch. I just kept things simple and underlined the months. And I used one of the Windsor and Newton Pro markers for this, which I really regretted because it did bleed through the pages. But luckily, I actually did this, this was my first page that I did even before I did the 2018 opening page. So um, I had blank pages before and after that I could like stick together and it was all fine, but um, would really not recommend those pens. Then on the next page, I have a single page, which is my jobs tracker for 2018. And I think this will end up in columns. It won't just be one list because um, otherwise this page is gonna be way too small, I think, for all of the jobs I'm gonna do this year. But I basically just want to track all of the jobs that I've done which brands I've worked with. And I did the same um, almost calligraphic style of writing for jobs. And then what I do for the rest of the header is I use the small Faber and Castell um, pen and I just put the individual letters in each box and it just looks quite neat. And then I used one of the Stabilo pastel highlighters to underline that. Then on the next page, I have goals for 2018 and I did the exact same header style as the page before, but instead used the pastel purple marker from the Stabilo set. The next page we have my opening page for January. I decided to keep this just to a single spread. Otherwise I'm going to use this notebook up so freaking fast. Um, but I decided just to keep this really simple and minimal and went with the doodle style that I also use on my Instagram stories. It's one that um, I find is very simple. I really enjoy the way it looks and it will probably be a key theme throughout this year. It's just quite easy, but also looks really cute as well. I think it'll be interesting to see as well if I spend more time on uh, these opening pages throughout the year if I spend less time. I'm interested to see how that kind of develops. Then on the next page we have my to-do list for the month. So this is all of the things that I need to remember to do at some point this month and they can be big or small but it's just like really good reminders. So at the moment I actually have things like remember to do my Esther for Miami, sort some stuff out with my boarding pass, so like really important things that I need to do over the month go on this page um, so that I, when I start my daily to-do list, I can refer back to it. Then on the next page, I just did my favorites. So each month I'm gonna have a favorites page so that I can jot down all of my monthly favorites for that month so that when it comes to doing my monthly favorites on YouTube, I know exactly what I've been loving. And this was one of the pages that I wanted so much in my bullet journal because I do tend to make these lists in 
my other notebooks but I switch notebooks so much and then forget where I've written it so it's just so nice to have this um, and I know exactly where it is. And then on the next page I have a jobs tracker just for the month of January. I think it's a good idea for me to keep track of all of the different jobs that I do. I do have a limit um, of the maximum amount that I know that I can do in a month so it's good to keep that limit in mind. Then on the next page we have another new in page. Um, so this is for the month of January just so I can keep track of any clothes that I've been buying or anything like that so that I know when it's time to do a haul. Then on the next page we have my video ideas double page spread. This now is actually almost full so there may be a second page of this that I need for the month of January but again I just kept the heading the same as all of the other pages that I've done. Then I did another double page spread for my blog ideas. <laughs> this could be a mistake um so i may if i don't use this so much throughout the month i may turn the other side of this page into something um related but not a blog ideas page because i don't want to waste um the pages in this book and then we get in to daily to-do list territory and i started off by dedicating a whole one page to each day and i can just work across that page and even go on to the second page if I need to. Uh, but if I don't use that whole page up and say I use half of it or even a third, then the next day will go directly below it because I don't want to waste paper at all. And I actually really like that system. I like going along bit by bit rather than um, getting ahead of myself and laying out every single day of the month's to-do list page. I really like doing this as I go along. I just think it's a lot less wasteful and everything I need is in one place and it all just makes sense to me. And I think that's the final spread that I filmed, but I actually have another page, which is gonna be really hard to show you, but I really like the top um, header of it. It's ideas for projects and brands I'd like to work with this year. And I've already made some notes, so I can't, um, like I have to cover it up. But um, yeah, it's just like the 2018 in balloons and I really like the way that it looks, it's super cute. And then I also have a similar one on the other side, but that is like top secret, so um, yeah, I can't, I can't show you. I just want to show you it all, it's so cute. That is my 2018 bullet journal setup. Um, like I said, do let me know if you'd like to see a monthly like vlog of, um, not like a monthly vlog, but like a vlog and there's a segment in which I set it up. Let me know if you would like that or what capacity you would like to see that in. Do let me know in the comments if there are any other questions that you have and I will do my best to get back to you. And for any other bullet journal ideas that you'd like to see, do let me know. Um, just let me know if you like this content in general because lots of you on Insta stories did ask for a video like this. I've You've asked for several different videos and this is all of them in one. Um, but do let me know if you like this and if you would like to see more videos like this, if you didn't like it but be nice and that is it for me today i hope you've all enjoyed this and so i'm gonna go i will see you guys again very soon then bye right i'm done let's go get mcdonald's